Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down Jack Johnson banana pancakes right now. Uh, also, real quick, I got some great bonuses that will help you learn guitar in the description below. Uh, also, I appreciate you subscribing right here to Marty Music and clicking that bell notification. All that extra stuff really helps out the channel, so thank you. All right, let's break it down. All right, that little intro happens uh, throughout the song. It comes from the G major pentatonic, so you're going to slide from the 5th fret to the 7th fret on the E string with your ring finger. Then you're going to hit 5th fret on the A string. Then ring finger goes back to 7. So. Then index goes to the 5th fret, and you pick it, and then slide down a whole step. So check it out. And then the open E. And then a quick three up to five slide on the E string. So from the top. And then you're going to play an A minor seven chord. And so that's just like an A minor bar chord. You're barring the fifth fret. E minor looking shape, but you can just take your pinky off. And you get A minor 7. So from the top. Then the exact same lick, but instead of, you just go. So everything's the same except the last note is G, the third fret. So. And then that's a G7 bar chord. So third fret barred, and then just make it an E major looking shape. But you take your pinky off for that, and you get that G bluesy sounding chord, G7, from the top. And then only this time, and he sings, he does one variation. Everything else stays the same when you play that part. So that variation, you're sliding the same, 5 to 7 on E, and then 5, 7 on the A, and then back to 5, 7, and then open E, 5th fret, A minor 7. So that looks like this. Everything else is the same. So that progression now, it's swing and so it does a little a little turnaround is what you'd call it because it's the five chord in relation to G, and it's so it's a D seven, and we're also going to play be playing a C seven, and I looked at a live fo footage thing he was using this classic three finger seven chord shape so. For D7, it would be 5th fret with your middle finger, 
on the A, and then fourth on the D, and then ring finger, fifth on the G, and if you just kind of let your fingers rest across the strings, you're only going to hear those three notes. So you have G7 to D7, A minor 7, which we already played, and then that C7, which is just the same thing as D7, down a whole step, so three, two, three. So G7, D7, A minor 7, C7. Right into that. D7 turn around. Right, so that's like the main gist of the song, but there is a uh, another section and a bridge, but so uh, you got that. <laughs> got that and then eventually into this little bridge section. So you're going to take an A minor 7 uh, so it's like you know down up scratch uh, down up scratch up down up scratch up down up scratch up down up chuck up down up chuck up down up chuck that's the feel you go A minor 7 to D major Now you go up a whole step to B minor 7. And so what's going on there, you got the B minor. And then I'm just going next door to that E minor 7. And I think it's just the bass, but it's like... And then an E flat. The guitar could just stay on that E minor 7. C major, and I'm playing the bar chord right here. You could play it right here, right here, right there if your hand's tired, like mine is right now. Wake up, G. D. So one more time on that bridge. To D, same thing again, A minor seven. To D. Then up to B minor seven. E minor seven. that chorus again with the lick right but then it just keeps going without the lick and then you got it all right I hope you guys had fun with the lesson uh, feel free to request anything you'd like to see in the comments below. While you're down there, I appreciate you uh, liking the video and subscribing here to Marty Music. Thank you again and hope to see you in another lesson real soon. Take care.